This is H2O2 from H2O, and we're going to test out this circuit. We've got it uh, hooked up and powered up, and it is working. Let's run over a few little things on here. The, um, the operating voltage uh, appears to be about 11.5. 4 volts, 11.3 volts, um, up to the uh, specification on uh, the voltage regulator. Um, most cars uh, aren't going to go over 14.2, um, I would imagine. Um, and she's operating fine. The current is um, 20 milliamps throughout that range. Uh, so basically uh, doesn't consume much power at all. Uh, normal operating range is about 13.5 to 13.9. We've got um, frequency on um, VR2. It's got a frequency range of 1.4 kilohertz to 9 kilohertz. Um, duty cycle. Basically um, 0 to 100%. So right now we were at 100 and we're heading down to zero. Should cut out. And I'll bring it back. So this is where we would set our cell up. Given our current, and we balance our electrolyte till this was at the current we wanted. This would be tweaked in at about there, about right there. Then our current limiter is set at about. Um, 37 millivolts and I'm going to inject as if I were simulating my uh, R12 and let's say it was increasing in uh, current so I'd get a little bit of voltage and it would cut the duty cycle back just like that okay, it's going to roll back because I'm dial the volts uh, going to give me a range of 10 settings. So we're going to go to 31 millivolts input. And then we can adjust it, fine, adjust it. Back. 32, 33, 34, 35, and basically cut off. Bring it back to 100%. Tweak my duty cycle for let's say 90%. About there. Let's uh, increase the current. To 20% duty cycle. Now I'm going to adjust the current limiter and increase that. Actually, I'm going to raise the current limit.
So now our current limit is um, roughly uh, 34 uh, millivolts input. So there you have it, a working H2O2 PWM version 2.0.1. This is H2O2 from H2O, signing out.